Thank you. Thank you for coming out this evening. There's a lot to discuss um, as it relates to Thornton Township. Um, first and foremost, I just want to set some rules. Um, those that have not been here at the last town hall meeting, it was really hostile. There was a lot of issues going on. So today we will not be allowing any of that to uh, happen. So if anything gets out of order, I will cancel the meeting and everybody will be removed from the meeting. Um, your job is to have a decent meeting where you hear us and understand what's going on here at Thornton Township. So all your uh, outbursts, if you can keep that to yourself, you will have time to address this body. Um, you have to sign in to speak. You will get three minutes to speak to this board. And I just want to make sure we clear on the rules so nobody can say, hey, you didn't give us rules. We have an ordinance that says you cannot disrupt a meeting. We are here to handle business and not allow the business to handle us. So we can allow everybody to lead in a decent time and order. So I just want to make that announcement so we crystal clear on the rules. Um, first, I would like to call to order, and also back up a little bit. That's the reason why we have it in our actual board meeting, which is located upstairs. Every time we have a town hall meeting, we have a meeting upstairs, and the open floor is downstairs in the lower level. Unfortunately, the Board of Trustees didn't want to come upstairs because obviously people have plans to disrupt the meeting. We're not here for that. We're not here for the show. We're not here for the clickbait. Wow. We're here for actually listening to the business and me. So I'm just trying to let you know the why and what is going on. I want everybody to face. I want everybody to get home to their loved one. I don't want anybody bickering and two of one another. I don't want any of that. I want you to come the same way. Um, I want you to leave the same way you came in one piece because someone who loves you and care about you. So I just want to make sure that we're clear of what's going on this evening. And that's the reason for the new flavor in the beginning of the two All right, guys, so thank you so much for coming out and we will begin our meeting. Um, I would like to call to order North Township board meeting. Today is August 20th, 2024. The time is 6.59 p.m. Please call Trustee Jones? Present. Trustee Gonzalez? Present. Trustee Gray Everett? Present. Trustee Carlisle? Present. Supervisor Henry? Present. Next on the agenda, if everybody will stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Next, I will pledge allegiance to the flag of the Next on the agenda is approval of minutes. Uh, is there a motion to approve minutes of the board meeting to on July 16th, 2024 at 6 p.m.? Is there a motion? Uh, is there a second? Second. Is there a motion and second? Uh, any discussion? Call on. Trustee Gray Everett? Yes. Trustee Carlisle? Yes. Trustee Gonzalez? Yes. Trustee Jones? Yes. Supervisor Henry? Yes. Motion passed. Thank you. Next on the agenda is adoption of the 2024-2025 budget and appropriation ordinance 24-009 for Gordon Township. Is there a motion? Yes, I would like to make a supersede motion that we table whole business. Um, all right, there's no such thing as superseding if there's no motion on the table. So if you just want to make a motion to table something, just make a motion to table the item. So table item A. Items A. So the motion is to table both items A and B of all business. All right, she got to be clear on what she wants to do. So you want to table both budgets? Is there a reason why you guys are tabling the budget? Send you a revised um, copy of the budget um, that we want to put in place and then we'll get to um, your office. Okay, so for the record, guys, so you understand what's going on, we put together a budget. Is, is there a second? You said, is there a second? Okay, I'm giving you a motion and second. We put the budget on the table um, since April. That's when everybody came to the town hall meeting and everybody was in tool with one another. And the board of trustees chose not to basically vote for a budget. So your township is running without an actual budget. Um, they had plenty of time to actually go over a budget 
present a budget and make sure that we have something to look at, whether it's something they want to take out, amend, adjust, fix, and they have not done so. So we put this on here and they still don't have an idea of what they want to do or what they would like to change as it relates to a budget. So that is the reason for it being on here because our job is to make sure we have an actual budget which has never, ever not happened here at Lord Township. Every single year, they have passed the budget since Frank Zucker Ruddy has been here. And um, since I've been here, we have had the actual budget. So right now, we're operating without the budget. So I'm asking the Board of Trustees to not kick the can down the road any longer and to make sure that you actually do your job and actually produce a budget for the township so we can move forward with our day to day operation. So that is my task. I've been asking that since April of this year, and it is now August, and we're going into September. So um, that's my that's my message. All right, Colorado. If, if I may, um, unfortunately, um, there's a lot of things going on here that haven't happened before, and that's kind of to the heart of why we're passing it. We're, as uh, Trustee Carlisle said, we're going to uh, put some finishing touches on our budget uh, that we're going to propose. Um, it takes a little time. Unfortunately, this budget's a little bloated, so we're trying to get our cuts to where they need to be, where we feel they need to be. Um, so that will be coming soon. Word. All right, trustee, um, as I say, we had ample time to actually come up with actual budget. A brand stands for the people when you guys really not doing your job. Um, you have time to actually cut stuff, change stuff, again stuff, and actually give them a budget to look at and review so that now we will all get to discuss um, what you would like to change if you feel something is bloated, but you never gave an opinion of anything being wrong or you want to adjust. So all this grandstanding, I'm just sick of it. I just want them to actually produce something and actually put it before us so we can actually talk as a board and amend as a board. But just saying things just because we have ample time to feel change since April is not cool. So you guys have um, your wish as it relates to table. When are you going to uh, produce this again? Because table to win. We start kicking the can down the road. When are we going to the cut? What's the date? Y'all tabling to win. Would that be the next regular schedule? No, we'll send them something for the next meeting. You got me. How y'all don't know when y'all want to table? Why we at a meeting? We still don't know nothing. What do we got, guys? What do we have? What day do y'all want to table this agenda to? But this um, budget. What's the date? We not gonna do that. We did that since April. You haven't gave us anything. So what's the date? May. May 31st. May 31st. You'll be notified. Okay, guys, okay, so we just told y'all, y'all gotta keep it down while we kind of busy. Right. Do y'all have a date of when y'all wanna um, bring this back up? Trustee, Trustee Jerry Jones, do you have a date of when you wanna talk about the budget? So, so nobody got no date, but everybody just take on stuff. So we, how do we have the vision here? We just keep paying with things with no vision. Boy, <laughs> no, no day. All right, there y'all have it, Reverend. No vision. Oh, I and not have an actual budget. So that means that that's how y'all run y'all houses. But we don't run our houses. Y'all have a budget. How are you going to spend? And right now, we just out. All right, Congress. Trustee Gonzalez? Yes. Trustee Carlisle? Yes. Trustee Jones? Yes. Trustee Gray Everett? Supervisor Henry, definitely not. Motion passed to table item eight. Next on the agenda is approval of the. Um, is there a motion to approve the general fund? I'd like to make a motion to approve the general fund. I like a major motion. What you, um, oh, no, what you say, trustee? So move. All right, is there a second? I guess I'll second. Is there a motion and a second to approve the general fund bills? Any discussion? I would like to make an amendment motion. All right. Uh, that we pay the bills or move in the following uh, invoices. Uh, call hub for $1,000. Another call hub for $2,500. Mike. 
Nick is Quadian Finance for $1,237.80. Another Quadian Finance for $1,237.80. We have Hit God, four separate times. The first one is $900, one thousand four hundred twenty-five dollars, one thousand two hundred and seventy-five dollars, two thousand five hundred and fifty dollars. Three L Media for one hundred twenty-five dollars. Three L Media for six hundred dollars. BL Entertainment. We have one, two, three, four, five, six of those for twelve hundred. Well, I'm sorry, five of those for twelve hundred dollars, and one for a thousand dollars. Carlos Medina, three payments. I'm sorry, two payments of two hundred and fifty dollars, and one payment of three hundred and fifty dollars. Charles J. Williams for twelve hundred dollars. Emmanuel Bonza for three thousand dollars. Illinois Production for nineteen hundred dollars, and another Illinois Production for one hundred and fifty dollars. Nation Builder for one thousand nine hundred and sixty-six dollars and thirty cents. Another Nation Builder for one thousand nine hundred and sixty-six dollars and thirty cents. We have two Rakim Ala Winert, one for five hundred dollars and one for six hundred dollars. We have one, two, three, four Santi Shannon, one for eight thousand four hundred and twenty-five dollars. Another one for eight thousand four hundred and twenty-five dollars. One for thirteen thousand seven hundred dollars. Another one for eight thousand one hundred dollars. What is that for? We have, we have Stay Focus Media for five thousand eight hundred and seventy-six dollars and eight cents. And that is my motion to pay the bills. We're moving the following ones without the uh, next. All right, is there a second? Second. All right, is there a motion and second? Um, any discussion? First, I would like to say I just think you guys are wrong for not paying the staff. I think the last board meeting you guys said that you agreed to pay the staff. Uh, Jerry Jones motioned it. You guys agreed, so for you to take it out of the list again. How do we pay the staff? So some of those invoices that you just called and named are actual employees here at Thornton Township. Okay, so, so I have to question. Why, why are you not paying staff? Um, I had a question, so. It's good one, Mike. The one that's working. We did send over a couple of email requests that we're still waiting for a response for. So one of the questions I had is, so I know uh, there are some employees that are on payroll, but they're also submitting contractor invoices. And so I just wanted a little more clarity on that. Um, what, what is the separation of the work? Uh, what are they producing? And so I think there are a lot of questions that I sent via e uh, email that I would need to see in order to be able to make, again, an informed decision. But um, one of my, we didn't take the uh, employees out, but the one employee that we did take out, um, they, again, are an employee, but also submitting contractor <laughs> with the clerk as related to invoices. So if you really had questions, that was your time to ask any questions and get your answers and your responses. As related to employees, employees do work for our location and you guys should pay them. If you don't understand something, it's what you call and you ask the question before we get here. Not us, I go back and forth saying why you didn't pay the staff, or if you didn't understand what it was they did before, why you're sitting now, you should still make sure you always the employees because they done a job and they should get paid for the job they have. So my advice to anybody would be to put the employees back in there that actually work here and make sure that you pay them for the work they have done. I know the last board meeting, a lot of them had pleaded with the board and even got to the mic and said, hey guys, how am I gonna feed my family? I have kids. How am I gonna take care of anybody? That's what they said to you guys, especially you, trustee on dollars. And you guys still go to know not to pay those individuals. So their invoice or what if you want to call it is still here on the list because you guys have not agreed to pay. So are you guys willing to add the tax in the payment? Um, I actually, uh, I, I would like to uh, make one more uh, removal. That's Casey Bonza for two thousand dollars. I did overlook that one, so I would like to include that one as well. Again, that's yes. an employee. So why are we not paying employees? 
Um, I was here at 2 p.m. yesterday and there was nothing available um, to be seen. Well, everything, I knew you was safe at, everything was available because every job was taken. Oh, my God. Right after you, so that's so funny. Oh, wow. But you can say that for the record. I was just funny. But he was here, people called you, if I'm not mistaken, the car she even called you and said that everything's here. Okay, they say, they say the full, hold on, say the full statement that everything was here at child discretion, everything that you asked for, if you had the opportunity to come and look, because they came. Why didn't you? So I stopped them. Like, all the so if you really, if you really want the information, oh no, trust me. If you really want the information, that's right, Chris. Let us speak. Your statement is false. Your statement is false. Trust me. Again, if you wanted the information, could have got the information when you came here. Yes, it was. So how did you get the information? Did you get the information? It wasn't up. It wasn't up. All right. Um, Call her. Trustee Carlisle? Yes. Trustee Gonzalez? Yes. Trustee Jones? Yes. Trustee Gray Everett? This is a motion to to approve the budget with the following bills that Trustee Carlisle removed from the list. Supervisor Henry. No. Motion passed. All right, next. Yeah. 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 Colorado. Trustee Carlisle? Yes. Trustee Jones? Yes. Trustee Gonzalez? Yes. Trustee Gray Everett? Trustee Henry. Yes. Motion passed. Right next, is there a motion to pay the road and bridge? Is there a second? Thank you. The motion is any discussion? Call her. Trustee Carlisle? Yes. Trustee Gonzalez? Yes. Trustee Jones? Yes. Trustee Gray Everett? Yes. Supervisor Henry? Yes. Motion passed. All right, next, ordinance. Um, is there a motion to approve an amended Ordinance 24 to regulate expenditures and budget approvals for township, Cook County, Illinois. Is there a motion? Yes, I'm on that. Is there a second? Is there a motion and second? Any discussion? Anybody here on the discussion? Okay, so this is an ordinance that the Board of Trustees put together. Obviously, they don't ever want to tell y'all what they're doing. This is the one where they wanted to um, remove certain things. Uh, that we do here at Thorn Township. One thing is uh, big, big, I'm gonna read you the items. So when I became your supervisor, it's basically all the things that I have about to Thorn Township that they want to include. So this is what I mean when I tell you that the board are targeting things that the supervisor does here at Thorn Township. Um, yet, before I got here, wasn't nothing going on. Uh, the numbers was 20% people knew about Thorn Township. When I came, now over 80% of our township knows that we exist and now is uh, benefiting from all the services here at Thorn Township. Whether that be light, gas, water, um, rent, mortgage, every single thing here is helping. We, we can help you very alone. So I just wanted you to know all the things that we do. If y'all can keep it down so I can finish, please, thank you. This is the thing that they put in this ordinance that they were like uh, policy, and we sent something out regarding this. Um, just to show you how petty they are, because Trustee Carmen uh, put this in here. Uh, they put big bingo, bingo, any holiday bingo, because bingo is bingo. Uh, tech savvy, and that helps the residents um, with their phones, their iPads, 
that put the goon on there, put uh, emailed on there. It's actually a really, really great class that we do here for our seniors. Would you please stop? Um, we put this together so that people would know how to utilize their phones and the internet. A lot of times they do not know how to do it. Y'all know AI taking over, computers taking over, and we want seniors to know how to utilize it and what software to put on there. Some people put Facebook on there, TikTok, uh, Instagram, but it's just really, really cool that you come and see what they learn from that one thing. Parents should talk. That's something we didn't have here at Thorne Township. Matter of fact, that is tomorrow. If you really want to educate yourself and learn what Thorne Township represents, all the things that we do have for you residents, and all of our surpluses, something that the fake news does not tell you. We actually have surpluses in all our accounts here at Thorne Township, but no one wants to do the, the research to know where to find the information. So please come out and let this tomorrow. That way you can learn what goes on. Let me teach you about your taxes, your tax levy, who increased your taxes, where to find it at, how to do the FOIA, and where to get the information from. It's actually really, really cool, but people kind of want the information, and what I've learned is when you got something that's an educational tool, people don't show up in the masses like this. People come for the mess, but they won't come to get educated on things they should know or would like to know that's going on in their own backyard. So some things that we do have currently right now, um, you come out tomorrow and hear for yourself, see for yourself, and get the evidence to walk away with it in your hands. So that's one big thing. Uh, another thing they wanted to say, okay, Black History Month program. Who wants to stop a Black History program? St. Patrick's Day event, Mother Day event, community bike ride. These all pretty engagement events that we do here at Fort Township, which has really, really been going really well throughout the summer. Uh, movie nights, Halloween events, Thanksgiving events, Christmas events, Veterans Day events, uh, New Year's events. Events. Uh, Martin Luther King Jr. Day celebration. That's really dope. We do that here in the lower level, and a lot of people uh, see that. Valentine's Day events, Women's History Day events, Sunday dinners events, karaoke nights, Showtime at the Apollo. That's really creative. Uh, the kids come out, but just like how Steve Harvey was on uh, Showtime at the Apollo, it was really interesting to see the kids actually have a lot of uh, talent here in Florida Township. Etiquette classes, that was food events. Uh, the table board we just did the other day, that one actually a ton of people showed up throughout the train. I loved it. Oh, no, the train, the snow came out, the snow came out, the snow came out, the snow came out, the snow came out. It was a lot of fun. That's so I just want to point out the things that we actually do here at Thornton Township because before I came, I Thornton always went on uh, like clockwork every single year. Friends of people had a picnic, um, comedy show, scholarship banquet, that's something that I created when we came. We gave your kids, your loved ones, over 80 scholarships, up to $2,500 or $20,000, I believe. Um, that was a the joke. They're looking for that same thing coming up. We're working on giving your babies a scholarship to so if you're watching this and you're interested, make sure make sure you basically um, check our website so you too can um, benefit from the scholarship. All they had to do was make a video this time around. Um, last time they had to write an essay, but they was able to help pay with their room and board, books, and things of that nature. So we really helped a lot of people. That's something for a township never done. Scholarships. Uh, the youth summit um, that was bringing people together because I'm real big on teaching and making sure people understand what mental uh, health is and where to get it from, where to get resources from, and how to identify. Because in the black and brown communities, we don't know what it is as relates to our kids and our loved ones that suffer from it, and they don't know where to go to get the help. So North Township helps with that. Uh, toy drive, that's really big here at Thornton. Um, I know when I came here, we allow kids to pick their toys up. All you have to do is walk a line and basically pick up whatever you want, like Toys R Us. So people got to pick what dials they wanted, what games they wanted, compared to before they would wrap the gifts up and put it in a bag and then people would unwrap them, then they don't know what they got or something they don't like. So these are all great things that we got implemented under the supervisor here, Tiffany and you. Um, the other thing we do is tree light. Tree light is really big. We're still doing that here outside in the front, and we allow every single community to come out. Guys, guys, please, please, if you don't want to hear it, there's the door. But you have to listen. Some people here want to hear what I'm saying. So please let me get finished. 
So um, Tree Life, you can back every single year as well, right outside here. And then the festivity is right here at the lower level. People come, they bring their loved ones, they play with them, they make uh, Christmas trees, and then every single city gets to come and decorate their actual tree. So that's us bridging the gap and bringing unity amongst our community. So that's really epic. Uh, food giveaway, again, I don't know why they got that on here. That's so uh, my department, meaning GA, that's something that the Board of Trustees cannot control, but they put it on here anyway. All the food giveaways that we have, we have it for you residents. If you don't have food, if you need food delivered to your house, all you gotta do is call, sign up, and we're bringing it and drop it off. If you want to go to the pantry every single Wednesday, you can stop there and get food from the actual food pantry. And it's fresh produce as well as bread. But I just want you to know that's fair. Something new that we just did is cooking with Tiff. Cooking with Tiff means your supervisor. So what we do is we allow people to come in and cook with your supervisor, and you get to show the world your recipe that your grandma, your uncle, your cousins have taught you, and you get to make that here at Thorn Township. And it kind of really helps to get air tomorrow and on Friday. You can pick up those same items that we show you on Wednesday. Um, outside here on Friday. So we have the fresh ground beef. We have everything in the box to make meatloaf or hamburgers or cheeseburgers. So the reason for that is just to showcase uh, the talent throughout Florida Township. So anybody can sign up to cook with me um, and anybody can sign up to share their recipe to show somebody else how you cook your item at home. Um, what else we got? We got house music fans. Uh, we got workout sessions. I'm real big on workout because the life is short. Make sure you get your steps in every day. Um, please come and work out with us. We do that. We have President's Day events. So these are all the great events that we do here at Thorn Township. They added in ordinance form, and that's the reason why we're trying to educate the people to come to speak up for the things that you really enjoy here at Thorn. Because it's a lot of great things that we put in place, and it's a lot of great people, great, great people that come here and uh, benefit from all of the wonderful activities that we do. And I always try to encourage residents, if it's something that you want us to add, or change, let us know because we are open always to your opinion and your suggestions to care for attention. And that's how we're able to get our numbers up by 80% because we listen to the people. The people came in, gave an opinion of what they thought it should be. We implemented it. If it worked, it stayed. If it did not, we let it go. So I just wanted to read this ordinance all of the things that they was targeting uh, as relates to things we have created for you residents in Thornton Township. So, it was a motion and so, if I may, we're still under discussion. Um, obviously, this ordinance has in no way is looking to eliminate um, these things. However, Thanks, Chris. the purpose of the pro of, uh, ordinance, I'll just read it. The purpose of this ordinance is to regulate the budgeting and expenditure processes for events organized yes. by Florida Township, yes. ensuring proper oversight, approval, and adherence yes. to the set financial limits. Yes. Now, if you can't, or the administration can adhere to some financial limits, we're not looking to necessarily cut stuff out. However, if you're going to make a decision to do things that benefit you, the administration, rather than help the people, that's your decision. We're not saying that, for the record. Yeah. 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 That is not true. It is. <laughs> Not true. Yeah. You guys have been targeting the event and all the things for all the last couple of months. Um, the last board meeting about two months ago, you guys didn't even vote to pay anybody or any service. So stop it. You did put together this ordinance to say you want to stop the monthly events that we do every single month. So when you're going to read it, read it in its entirety so people understand. Don't take one sentence out because if you go and you break it down, you will see exactly what the Board of Trustees are trying to do. Because if they wanted events to continue, for instance, we had the taste of thought. Why didn't you guys approve any of the things for a taste of thought? We had a book bag giveaway. Why didn't you guys approve anything for the book bag giveaway? So we have to still keep going here at Thorn Township. So they can clap. You can try 
God, make it sound good all you want, but that is not what they're trying to do. Because if they don't approve it, then how do we give it out to you, residents? And that's that cup. Why do you think I keep asking for a budget? You move within a budget. Ain't no keep going back to the board for everything you're saying. Just like y'all did in the previous administration, when Frank was here, you have a budget for every single thing. So every single thing you have a budget for is what you are allowed to spend within your budget. But you guys won't even approve a budget. So how do you operate if you don't have a budget to produce these things for the rest of the floor tax? All right, so it's been a motion and a second. You can call the road. Call I'm not for this. Just Trustee Carlisle. I'm taking this out. I'm amend this. Trustee Gonzalez. Yes. Trustee Jones. Yes. Trustee Gray Evers. Yes. No. Motion passed. Yes. 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 Safeguards in place to um, regulate what's spent on the credit cards. I mean, that's. Now, it was discussed last time that there may be some back and forth. We're open to that. But we, it's imperative that we get this passed. If you want to come forward with some amendments or to make some changes, we could do that. But it's imperative we get this passed tonight. Amen. So, for the record, you guys know that I'm totally against how you guys structure this. I said this at the prior meeting, that's why I did not pass. Um, you guys did call the vote and it died because you guys are just writing things and didn't ask anybody their opinion. As it relates to laws, us as the board folks should discuss it, come up with a plan, and execute it. You guys have not included the body in its entirety, nor did you include the staff. They are the ones that do the spending. They are the ones that do the operation as relates to the day to day. You guys put things in there like a thousand dollars. Each of their departments spend more than a thousand dollars on lunches for the seniors, on youth and family programs. We told y'all this at the last meeting, and we're telling you this again. I am not for how you guys drew this ordinance up. And I'm not for having a credit card. You guys wrote my name here. So do not add my name in something that I do not agree with. So for those that don't know and ain't read this, they added my name to get a card. I do not want a credit card. I do not deal with money. I don't deal with anything. <laughs> I don't even know why y'all made an amendment and added the end of it. So please remove supervisor from this ordinance. And I think you guys should replace it, as we told you before, with a manager. I told y'all that. Because the managers are the ones that buy for their departments. So I don't work here every day as it relates to in no one's department. So I wouldn't know if they needed some food for a senior. All they would do is go buy what they need for their department once again. That's the purpose of a budget. If you have a budget, you're telling them what they can spend within their department. And all of them produce receipts. Every single department does. People that didn't produce receipts no longer work for a township. So let's be crystal clear about that. But please remove my name out of this. So I'm not for this level for this amendment. And I'm told that Trustee Carmen made this amendment. And I'm not for it. So remove uh, supervisors from here. I see y'all put the finance director on here. And then you put supervisor with the finance director. 
So let's, let's strike that now. Ain't no passes with my name, so no to that. And then I see that you guys strike a thousand dollars and put ten thousand only in the case of emergencies. Again, Tony Department, which is um, all of them basically, he spent more than that off of his truck or bus breakdown. Uh, so do IT, which Robert Hunt explained that to you. Our computers, our servers, things go down. Cost five thousand dollars for just one computer. So I'm saying that you guys, because you so much attached to the supervisor, that y'all not thinking about the overall picture. And I told y'all y'all should talk to the staff before making a law that don't make sense for the staff on a day-to-day -day operation. You have to understand how they operate daily in their need. Not just making laws and then now it does not work. Now how you accept made a, a rule, a law, that they can't abide by because their operations need more than what you wrote as a law. So talk to the staff. I think you should go back to the drawing board or adjust what being right here, right now, or go back to the drawing board. One of the two you should do. But do not, please don't for that work. Y'all want to make an amendment? Motion yes. to approve ordinance 24006 as. Oh, okay, well, our motion to amend that take supervisor off, like I just said. That's what I'm talking about. Y'all, in y'all way, I'm adding in, in this loss because I don't want to credit card. So I made it. <laughs> <laughs> Is there a second for my motion? No, I have to say, okay, hold on. Let me amend this first. No, no, it's uh, it's discussion for the first motion. Well, we can. I'm trumping the motion first. No, 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 no. 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 Okay, it's a motion in a second to uh, trump their motion. Oh lord. Uh, it, it's myself and Darlene. Oh my god. Y'all ain't not even here. So now what you got to say? Now, now discussion. The move supervisors. Uh, the building. Okay, so they did uh, request that there be an additional car because the original ordinance did only have the finance director, Robert Hunt, listed. Um, and according to my knowledge, uh, I know the previous administration uh, for 29 years only had one credit card and they were able to successfully handle uh, township business with that one credit card. And I know that um, there are a lot of things going on, a lot of spending, a lot of questions um, that sometimes don't get answered. Um, but one thing I will say is uh, I know the supervisor is bonded, so anything she's she does is protected under that bond. So I think that it is her responsibility to make sure she knows what's going on with the money. That's her right. Responsibility yeah. Exactly. Her credit card. Again, you know, the previous administration had one credit card for 29 years, and I think that you know moving forward we have to figure out some things. And again, like uh, Trustee Gonzalez said, we're open to receiving any amendments via email, and we'll look at it, and discuss it as a board, and do what's best for. Township as a whole of the board. That's right. Yeah. So, yeah. so yeah. you The township did have a credit card, one credit card for 29 years. And y'all had a lot of theft going on here for the township. So y'all still going on. And that's right too. We still If y'all remember not anybody operation runs. Every department here has a car because they are responsible for transparency. If you give one car to one person, you don't know who got it, who spent on it, what you see that. You don't want one car. Right now, we can go and look up, hey, Carmen was in Walmart today and she bought a TV. You can literally point out where somebody's at and who's like that car because that name goes to that person's car. That's why you want every single department to have their own car so that now they're accountable for their expenses. We're not doing one credit card. There is accountability for one credit card. And that's not how operations work. And as it relates to the finance director, we said this at the last meeting. Why would we give the finance director uh, a car? That is not his job to run to the store and buy for a key box. That is the department head's job. As relates, that's how y'all don't know. As it relates to finance, everyone has a whole degree. He will post the order and check and make sure that the finances are in order. That's it. That's it. That's how he checks. And he don't go to the store and buy stuff. That's what the department heads is supposed to do for their department. So everybody uses the site of the why for credit cards, the convenience for the credit card for a department. It has nothing to do with the finance director having it. It has nothing to do with nobody else being it besides the department head having it. 
to basically account for their spending for their department. If you go check any of our city of Thorne Township, you will see anybody that has a car, what they spent it on, they got their name back, and they should have receipts for anything that they have spent. So I just want to point that out. So all this talk about uh, we just going to make this a law, no, we're not. So we're going to remove supervisors. Uh, you can replace that with a manager. I don't care who you pick, really, for the manager. It could have been a uh, Tony call out here. It could be anybody. But pick one person other than the survivor or the department head. And we should have had this discussion before. I'm tired of y'all an email. I'm not sending you no email. I told you this at the last meeting. And I'm verbally telling y'all again don't add me in nothing because I got nothing to do with the day that they have related to their department. They are responsible for their department. They don't pay me for their department. My advice, again, is to go speak to them and Ask them their opinion of what it means for spending for each department before you guys put a law together or something that you know nothing about, meaning they need more than what you wrote in here. I, and I see alone. That alone means more than what you wrote. But you guys would know that. Even when they were getting all this spyware and all this, these issues, they needed a, a lot more than what you wrote. And y'all know that because they told y'all about it. So my advice again is to amend this ordinance and make sure it makes sense for the needs of the township and not what the board of trustees wants it to say. You have to go with the needs and that's what the department has. So it's a motion second on the floor to remove um, supervisor from this ordinance, uh, replace it with a manager, not me, and we won't go from there. All right. Trustee Gonzalez? No. Trustee Jones? No. Yes. Trustee Carlisle? No. Yes. yes. Oh, Trustee yes. Gray Edwards? No. Hold on. Hold on. No. Supervisor Hinch. Motion failed. Motion failed. Motion failed. All right. I don't really know how this is going to work. I'm not sure what you're calling me. What child vote for in you? I've never seen no mess like this ever in my life. I'm not sure what you're calling me. That's different in itself. So it's just something I'm clear of. Uh, not sure if you don't have a car in the day today. I'm pushing. Y'all can write whatever law you want. I ain't telling you what it is for. I let y'all know that. So if you don't have any more, I just told y'all to put my name on something. I'm still here. There's still a motion to be second on the floor. Two, three. The amendment fails, so there's still a motion to approve the one side. Y'all want to mean that? No. No. They just say no, they won't. I don't listen to them. I do not. They know. That's the problem. 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 Why we debate over the big thing? I tell y'all, I don't want to talk. Why we? Hold on, guys. Give me a minute. Stop. This my life. Stop. What? Chris. Wow. Please take me off of this board. Are you guys gonna take me off the board? No. Oh. 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 I'm just sucking y'all up. I'm telling y'all, I don't know where you're going. I'm just going to go. I'm just going to go. I'm just going to go. Your wig falling Voting blindly or giving them a vote, you don't got a why? So why did you have me in the ordinance, trust me? And then about my house, I'm telling you up front, in front of the people, that I don't want a car. Why would you put me in this? Motion to call the vote. Yeah! 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 Yeah
Give him a mic. Give him a mic. Put the mic on. 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 Based on what you expressed, I'm not aware of any conflict. Based on what you, based on what you expressed. Oh, I want to say that um, uh, the Dear Garter Law Firm did look over these retainer agreements, so they did look over it to make sure it was in compliance with state state law. Uh, they did uh, not. Uh, Attorney Eric, but other people I have spoken to. No, that's not an invitation. Yeah, but they're there. Can you tell him? Are the copy of interest? No, I can't speak for that. No, I can't speak for that. No, I can't speak for that. No, I can't speak what did you guys want to table. table to win. Further notice. But this is what I'm talking about. Why did y'all y'all had questions? Like seriously, y'all don't no, no. seriously no. If you had questions or concerns about me, why didn't y'all reach out to anybody? Y'all call a lawyer to draw an ordinance. Why didn't y'all ask the uh, lawyers about legal opinion? Why would we get here? Y'all don't even know what deadline is currently right now. If we have to go to court for this, we got their lawyers. And that's the thing you shouldn't play with. I just want to fight for this to represent Thornton Township. Thornton Township. Our job is to protect the township. All the rest of the stuff y'all got to put to the side. I would not be without this travel. That's right. So what y'all like to table with every day? So is there any way the attorney can buy this if there's time sensitive matters, or do you know the answer to that question? I don't know when it's due. I know it is a deadline on it. When they when they give you paper with the deadline. When is the deadline? Well, it was it was a deadline way a week ago when y'all hit way y'all. So I know that's a legal opinion. So we had to put it on the court. So we need to be off. I would, uh, I think I would second the motion to table and we can come back maybe in two days. Uh, right. That is, yeah. Yeah. That's down well, there. Yeah. Yeah. Just so y'all know, I don't like that. Y'all just keep popping up being like this on our personal line. Well, right. Ooh. 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 Ooh.
Early voting will begin October 21st through November 4th. If you know someone who needs to register to vote, they can come to the clerk's office Monday through Friday, 9 to 4, to register to vote. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Danny. That's all right. All right. Let's play. Very glad you're here. Thank you. First of all, I'd like to start with a couple of suggestions for the trustees, something that really needs to be done to make these things go a little smoother. First of all, uh, on a policy note, I think you guys should really put a forensic audit on the next agenda. Yeah. As you can see, all these different expenditures and things that never receipts are rarely given, and there's always this conflict about the receipts and so forth. The a forensic audit is the way to go. Yeah. You should really, really consider that. Correct. And make sure it's independent, please. Yes. yes. Now, another suggestion. It's more important to have a meeting like this than it is to have me know. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. The, the, all the uh, town hall meetings should be down here as a matter of course. Anyway. Yeah. 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 Of course. If there's a conflict, you can change things one way or the other, but everything should be down here yeah. so everyone can have access. Uh, upstairs, uh, I know personally, I know I stood in line for two hours, couldn't get in the room, mm -hmm. but you know, it's, it's cool. You know, because I, I learned a lot out there. I learned that some people are cultists instead of our citizens. Mm -hmm. I talked to, talk to a few of them. And uh, oh yeah, one, one thing I really want to bring up. If I was up late, all, you know, one time it was an hour and a half late a few months ago, over half an hour late, even an hour and a half late, starting at 5.30, the meeting didn't start to almost 7 o'clock. I would at least offer an apology to the people that sat here. Yes. 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 For the people that sat here, they had to do what they do. I mean, you would think that you would get an apology, but again, you have to have a little class for that. Do yeah. Oh, yeah. And I heard something about a uh, scholarship fund. I just hope that scholarship fund paid off better than the council fund did. Do <laughs> Nobody, nobody that I know of has got a dime out of that, no, except no. the people that whose names were on there, or some of the people whose names were on there. The people whose name wasn't on it got the money. Mm -hmm. There you go. Mm -hmm. And uh, we had a musical event in Dalton uh, just uh, what this past weekend, Saturday. Yeah. Okay. I'm wondering since it was held in Dalton, and since Dalton facilities were used. Possibly some Dalton personnel, things of that nature. Uh, is there some way we're getting compensated for that? Since we always get the short shift when we come in here, you know, we don't want to get right down yada, yada, yada. But <laughs> if you're going to hold things in Dalton, and if you're going to do this right, we should be getting compensated for some of those facility uses, usages, and things that happen in our community. Time. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. All right. All right. Chris, uh, Danowski, Danowski, Danowski. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Tiffany Hanyard, as supervisor, you should be a steward of our tax dollars. Mm -hmm. That's right. Mm -hmm. However, right. you have wasted our money on lavish travel, mm -hmm. fine dining, fake cancer foundations, mm -hmm. parties, extravagant bingo prizes, mm -hmm. and personal campaign materials. Yes, I said personal. Yeah. I saw all those tents at your poorly attended Taste of Thornton Township event yeah. last weekend with your name displayed in large letters. <laughs> Keith Price commented a few months ago at a, at a meeting about how Thornton Township was a laughing stock to the nation. I partially agree with that, except that it's a laughing stock of the world. And it's not us being laughed at. It's you, Tiffany, and Keith Price, and Mr. Lacey. They got all kinds of nicknames for you out there in YouTube land, but I'm sure you're aware of that. 
Yep. Tiffany, you commented earlier about being respectful at the meeting. As a representative of the township, I met Paul at how Keith Price was how ignorant and disrespectful yes. he was yes. to Mr. Gonzalez yes. at the meeting. We were told at the beginning of this meeting we had to watch our language. He surely didn't do that. He was out of order. Lastly, Tiffany, there's one comment that I've heard of your mouth that I actually agree with. Good evening, everyone. I'll be brief, okay? My name is Nate Fields. I'm here today to stand up against the bullying and intimidation tactics being used by those who are supposed to represent us. Last Thursday, I was physically pushed against the window outside of this building by Kamal Woods. Tiffany Hayer's boyfriend during a special board meeting. But this wasn't just an attack on me. It was an attempt to silence anyone who dares speak up against the misuse of our tax dollars. But I want to make it clear. I will not be intimidated. And I will not back down. This community deserves better than leaders who spend our hard-earned money irresponsibly while resorting to bullying to maintain their power. I'm here to fight for transparency, accountability, and respect for every resident. Together, we can ensure that our voices are heard and that our community is protected from those who seek to abuse their powers, yeah. their positions. Yeah. Come on now. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry, uh, Miss Bogan, I'm sorry. I apologize. Uh, Miss Bogan. <laughs> if there's not a Miss Bogan, then uh, Miss Roberts. Whose name you call? Okay. Miss Good evening, everyone. Good evening. When I was a child, from the ages of 9 through 11, I was sexually molested by close family members. I was made to believe that if I said something, no one would believe me. I became silent. My voice was lost in a sea of depression. I experienced low self-esteem, loss of identity, became unsure of who I was or who I would become. When I became a mother of a beautiful girl, I vowed that what happened to me would never mm -hmm. happen to her. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately, as a single working mom, I could not protect her from the generational curse that plagued my family. I often think about if I could change back time and if my baby girl, who is now 32 years old, would have felt safe enough to tell me what was happening to her, what I would have done to those who abused her. Vanilla Dukes was sexually assaulted yeah. on a Thornton Township sponsored trip 
Allegedly by Andrew Holmes, Come on. who is still on your board, Tiffany, Say and Dalton. Yep. Instead of protecting her, you fired her and kept her violator as your ally. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. He is one of many criminals working for you. Your boyfriend, Kamal Woods, is drawing a generous salary for a position he has yet to report on. Yeah, However, he allegedly felt the need to put his hands on Nate John, uh, Fields Jr. less than a week ago. Is that part of why he was hired at the township? Come on. Why is it that you would rather have criminals to defend you as opposed to providing counseling for those who have been offended sexually, mentally, or physically? Isn't it better to spend tax dollars on services to silent residents with low self-esteem need instead of on your campaign events like Taste of Thornton Township and Big Bingo? In January, in this very room, Tiffany, you told the world that you are Dr. Martin Luther King's dream. Did you forget that his dream was that someday people would judge, be judged by the content of their character and not by the color of their skin? I will leave you with this thought. All nightmares come to an end, and so with this one. Uh, I last made public comments here in June and May, but the supervisor did not wish what I was going to say, so she limited me to two minutes and prevented me from questioning the attorney or the clerk. Uh, I hope given the time that we had to wait to get into this meeting, the time that we had to wait for other meetings, and the time that was taken away from me previously, and by going easy on the supervisor for the last two months, I may be able to read the entire one page that's in front of me. Let's go. If not, I'm happy to give you copies. Anyway, um, I will continue with, uh, from where my last comment was cut off. Uh, she would not let my wife complete it, so I wanted to continue talking about how at least $550,000 of February's $1 million giveaway was not used for the intended purpose, and how the Attorney General ordered the township to give me the information I requested through FOIA. They still have not. Uh, I wanted to mention how the township refuses to state who their FOIA officer is, and how they have made it almost impossible for the Attorney General's office to contact them. I wanted to talk about how the township's IT department no longer lists any email on the township website, nor do they give us any way to contact our trustees. I wanted to mention how the administration monitors emails and text messages between trustees and their constituents. Uh, but given the time restraints, uh, Instead, I want to just start answering the number one question that people ask about Thornton Township. Why is Tiffany Henyard still in office? Yes. Mm -hmm. Please bear with me while I try to answer that question. Much of the credit for her successful criminal career goes to her well-connected well attorneys. Her preference for the Delgado Law Group, known by many mayors and powerful people in Springfield, is so strong that she fired two longtime township employees who opposed hiring Delgado for the school board. But she doesn't mind spending our tax dollars to settle this wrong, the wrongful termination lawsuits that she invited. Other well-connected attorneys helped her overturn the citizens recall election in Dalton. Furthermore, Thornton Township spends $20,000 per month on lobbying, public relations, and political consulting. <coughs> 5000 per month goes to the mentor of the chairman of the state senate's appropriation committee. Uh, Frank Zuccarelli only paid him 4000 a month. Uh, 5000 a month goes to a media consultant called Whitley Agency. Uh, I know that they take PayPal, given the credit card statements uh, <laughs> uh, uh, has. Look at the great job they did advising her on the last two Saturdays' campaign events in Dalton. Uh, 10000 per month goes to Cornerstone Government Affairs for Political Consultants. 
Mm. Well, that's an interesting one. Um, in February, when the supervisor was in Roland Martin's studio, uh, there was a meeting here anyway. Uh, several of these invoices were on the, uh, for $10,000 were on the sorry. warrant list. Sorry. Trustee Gonzalez asked what they were for. Uh, no one in the room could tell him, yeah, and up. three of the trustees voted uh, to, uh, to approve them. Keep going. The farmer said the website shows that the leader of the Illinois team was previously the senior advisor to Michael Madigan and the longtime political director of the Democratic Caucus in the Illinois House of Representatives. Violation of his of his first amendment rights. He's allowed to talk. Keep going. Your time is up, sir. He's exercising his First Amendment right, the freedom to speak. Don't touch him. Don't touch him. because uh, the supervisor seems to think giving parties and bingos that that is going to uh, win us over. And we got to stay focused on what's really happening. They're trying to hide all the money that's being stolen. And I, you know, I'm a, a breast cancer survivor, and I was appalled when they came out with this fake charity because I know how it is when you're trying to look for help when you yeah. have cancer. Amen. And I just felt that that was the lowest thing that she could ever do is to go against people that are battling cancer. Yeah. And I feel that they need to get that money back to the township. That was illegal and that attorney was sitting next to her allowed her to do that to Delgado do it. Knowing that that was illegal for them to be giving her private fake charity money, we need our money back. You know, and we're not going to take anybody intimidating us or anything. That's right. I've had uh, Kamal Woods walk past me and say some slick stuff. Me too. What? But they do. Oh, okay. No, you're not. You're not going to. You're not going to. You're not going to. You're well, not going to scare have me, you're not going to intimidate me because I have uh, a boyfriend. You got to understand, this woman has destroyed dogs. Yes, she has. So, and I'm going to tell you something. She cannot be the best in Thornton Township and then destroy a whole village in dogs. And the same thing that's happening over here is happening in dogs. It happened in dogs and it's happening here now. They're not being transparent. They don't want to tell you. They got Robin Hunt in the front cooking the books, Come on. lying to the yeah. people, yeah. saying yeah. that we're not in the red. Yeah. That is a lie. But I commend these trustees. They're standing yeah. up. Yeah. 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 Thank you, woman. Yeah. Yeah. You got to put a watch on that money and on the press card because she was saying, hey, the department heads are supposed to have it. Yeah. It's time they just yeah. like the car. And had the village of Dalton pay for something, and it should have been the Thornton Township. So they just rotating these cards, doing what they want to do. Yeah. 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 And that should not be happening. Yeah. 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 Ye
Dog is in. We're destroyed. Come on, we man. are destroyed. And then we have a takeover where one man is taking over the whole damn police oh. department. Come on, but we man. will not be intimidated. Yeah. So you can't stay woke about what's happening out here in Thornton Township. Doing They're doing the same thing and they're stealing from you all. Yeah. And the, for the people, you know, I love my seniors. You cannot, you cannot choose bingo for what's going on. You got to get that place. Because you know, hey, nothing is free. Nothing is free. It's going to come back and bite you. You decided over these big screen TV that are stealing from you all. They are yeah. stealing from you all. Now remember, she's telling us we don't respect us. We respect her. She don't respect y'all. Y'all remember that when it's time to vote. Yeah. Remember that when it's time to vote. Yeah. Remember that when it's time to vote. Remember that when it's time to vote. Remember that when it's time to vote. What'd she say? What's the next name? What's your name? Janelle Taylor. And I know I'm on that list. Okay. And it wasn't that many people before me. No, it wasn't. Greetings, Madam Supervisor, Trustees, Administrators, and Residents. As this administration continues to attempt to spin the narrative of how well they're doing, the township continues to descend into madness. Mm -hmm. The presence of the supervisor has created a toxic environment where political figures and administrators have used unethical tactics for intimidation and harassment. Mm -hmm. Come out. Yes. You have also given the license to your subordinates to use these tactics to attempt for character assassination. Mm -hmm. In my hands are two FOIA requests by Mr. Keith Price which was filed this past May to my former employer here wow. in the township and my current employer at the school district asking for everything personal, including disciplinary write-ups. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. yeah, Mercy. Wow. If Mr. Price is here, I don't have disciplinary write-ups. <laughs> <laughs> this type of behavior has also given non-resident opportunities to a license to act as predators when they present themselves as advocates and activists. Mm -hmm. One particular make-believe activist that goes by the name of Jedediah Brown. Watch him out. You watch he it. has a video on YouTube channel telling his followers that he sent investigators to my job asking, uh, asking about me and my coworkers telling them that people at my job don't like me. They don't. I, I, that, man. I guess since his secret friend Keith Price came up empty, he has to come up with some unsubstantiated narratives in an attempt to ruin my reputation. You're mad. Don't even know. They don't like <laughs> and there are plenty of stories of people who have over who have been overnight amateur investigators when they're nothing but small time hooligans. Over the past three months, friends have become enemies, and enemies have become friends. And he's showing your brain right now. You back, you to the supervisor. What you have done here cannot be blamed on fake news. You're fake. FBI subpoenas and grand juries are not the fault of the media. To the residents of this township, I sincerely urge you to find within yourselves to help change the direction of the township. Whether you vote out the supervisor and the entire trustee board. Something needs to change soon. There are legislators in the Illinois General Assembly still itching to abolish the township in this state. And if this type of government that the Thornton Township is going to have from this point on, then what's to stand in their way? If we keep this up, they will come and burn it down. if anybody harasses me while I'm speaking, I'll call the Attorney General for a violation on intimidation and harassment. Our way. So I want everybody to make this make sense to me. You're concerned about this building at Thornton Township. You're trying to put her on a credit card that she does not want. Why would you do that? Also, she has a $3,000 
right? She can write as many $3,000 checks as she wants with no cap here in Thornton Township. Why hasn't anyone created an ordinance to stop that or limit the amount of checks? That's the same thing that goes on in Dalton. She can write as many $5,000 checks as she wants without board approval. Just like here, she can write as many $3,000 denomination checks as she wants without board approval. So why haven't you guys done anything to cap that? Carmen, I'm glad you spoke because you spoke about um, the supervisor being bonded and us having nothing to worry about. Seeing that you have a background that's been posted um, numerous times in check fraud, oh as well God. as a Pete Freeman having a felony background, mm. you two should be bonded as well for the protection of Thornton Township. Anybody with a criminal background should be bonded in any municipal job that they're in. And she's bonded. Did you hear them say she's bonded? I'm asking for all criminals to be bonded. Okay. Thank you so much. Now, furthermore, furthermore, who is <laughs> right. Okay. Now, the board wants proper spending to be made. You guys tabled the budget, but for four months, from April to August, you had substantial amount of time to take out whatever you needed to take out of the budget and have this budget passed. You cannot control spending if you, do, if you don't have a budget. How do you do that? How do you know what's going to be allotted with? And you tabled it to an unknown date and time. And Ms. Roberts answered the question to why uh, the Vanilla Dukes lawsuit is against Thornton Township because that was a Thornton Township sanctioned trip. And for a long time, I've been confused in media because it seems like that was a Dalton sanctioned trip. So all of this um, co-mixing of governments, co-mingling, co-mixing, however I choose to state it, right? And you guys have a lot to say about how she speaks and how she's educated. So I suggest you guys pay attention to District 205 because that's where she was educated. In District 205, where they have a disparity of learning in their school. So all you criminals get bonded. Thank you. Too. I probably say good night since we've been here such a long time. The first thing I want to say is I don't know if the supervisor, well, I'm sure she does, has seniors in her in her family. Mm -hmm. yeah. But you don't treat seniors like this. Mm -hmm. no. You don't have us sitting around an hour while you have a meeting upstairs that you won't let people come to because I tried to go up there. And you had it advertised on the screen back there so we could see that you were conducting a meeting upstairs. So I tried to go up there because at one time, I think that's the clerk, she was down here and then she went, goes up to the meeting. And there are papers being passed around. There are people signing stuff. There's somebody showing them, pointing stuff out to them. I don't know what it was, but they would not let me in. The two, two of your security staff would not let me in and said that it was full, no seats. But there were seats because I could see them on the screen down here. Right. Right. Now, another thing is, why are you trying to hold two meetings? You wanted people to come up there, but you know you have a lot of citizens down here that want to be a part of the meeting. They want to be involved, they want to know what's going on. You can't have a meeting up there with just majority of the people on your staff or in your corner, and not the people who might be against you or might be for you. You are wrong in that. Then you come out and you're going down the steps. I was told by one guy it wasn't a meeting. Well, I don't know, it was some kind of, what was it, a party? Was it a service <laughs> giving together? What was it? Bingo. <laughs> and then you try to make people, you try to limit us to three minutes 
But we can't limit you to getting here on time. <laughs> 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 so why punish us and say we can only speak for three minutes, but you can hold us hostage for as long as you want. Sometimes come down and council meeting or come down and we have chaos. This is not fair. And I'm not even going to apologize, but I did say to some of those individuals, like I said to the policeman, and I said to the gentleman over there, I don't know what he is. <laughs> okay, I don't know what his position is, and I'm not sure other people know either. There's a bunch of lap dogs around <laughs> And I guess you just blow to a bird, pat you on your head, or whatever. And I know that you have to have a job, because I understand that. You have to have a job, you have to feed your family, and sometimes you have to play along with the powers to be. But you look at Miss Tiffany up there, she's not even paying attention to anything but right. to see out here. The only yeah, time she brings to her head is when time is up. Yeah. Yeah. She knows how the time is up. Are you a fresh? Yeah. Are you a coward? Yes. What yeah. is it? Yes. You won't oh, look us in her eyes. You don't want to hear it. <coughs> You're going to hear it anyway. Mm -hmm. And we know the dominoes are falling. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And the feeling as you stated, the time is up, ma'am. <laughs> Tiffany here is the one who is considered the worst man the in America. The time is up. Yeah. Time is up. You can tell me to sit down. You can have your head straight you come over here. But get your budget on time and you will love to be civil with you. At least apologize. Jesus. Yeah. I can holler. <laughs> <laughs> Drawing pictures. Okay, I think that is so disrespectful. But anyway, I was only coming out to this meeting to try to learn something. I've been in this community for about 20 years, and I uh, decided that I would come out and try to get involved in my community and learn different things. Okay, so number one, as a school teacher, you cannot double dip. And so I would suggest to you guys, and Tiffany Hinder, that is very disrespectful, okay, as to what you're doing. But anyway, people cannot double dip in a job, okay? So from what I'm hearing, according to the agenda, um, they can only have one position. They should not be here working at one thing and then they're DJ or the top. You can only have one job, okay? My second reason really for coming was to find out if, uh, as a Thornton su supervisor, had you gotten with the mayors and seen what were you gonna do to help the residents of these 17 villages right, right. or their property taxes. What is the plan for that? So that was my question, and I did want an answer, but I will return tomorrow, and maybe we will have an answer for you. No. Okay. Yeah. Oh, it's the Thornton Township, so I know that we come to those well, and we can ask questions. Township talk. Yeah. Yes, and we do come and ask questions, so I will be here. I have been involved in those. But I did want to know, was there a plan? I've asked the mayor of South Holland, and I want to know what you guys are planning to do as homes are becoming foreclosed on and residents are losing their homes. Yes. Yeah. We yes. need to do something about that, as well as put a cap on all of this spending yeah, and get fine. something under wrap. But again, people cannot double dip. No. I'm sorry with That's that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I read my statement now. Oh, uh, oh no. Oh, no. Simply is not the critic. Not the man who points out how strong the man stumbled. All right. It's not the critic who counts, not the man who points out how the strong man stumbled, or where the doer of the deeds could have done them better. The credit belongs to the man who is actually in the arena, whose face is marred by dust and sweat and blood. 
who strives vigilantly, who errors, who comes short again and again because there is no effort without error and shortcoming, but who does actually strive to do the deed, who knows great enthusiasm, the great devotion, who spends himself in a worthy cause, who at, who at the best knows in the end the triumph, the triumph of the achievement, and who at the worst, if he fails, at least fails while daring greatly, so that his place shall never be with those cold and timid souls who neither know victory nor defeat. My message tonight to all of the residents of Thorn Township, I've watched people disrespect leadership. I challenge you to take on becoming a leader and sitting in that seat. Because you don't know what it means to sit in that seat. Nobody ever has been in the The things that you have to endure, the meetings you go to, trying to help your residents, trying to help your citizens, and you have people that come to be disrespectful. She ain't trying to help the residents. That's to be disrespectful. And when we have people that burn out, now, I sat quietly while everybody else had their time to talk. But then when somebody comes up and not talking, you don't talk. Then you don't like what you don't want to hear. That's disrespect. And what I learned is you have to have respect. You have to have respect. And what I'm saying is that you sit in that seat as an elected official. You don't know what elected officials have to go through. Exactly. But what I am going to say is we need education in our community on government. Because if we really understood government, we will understand what the supervisor's job is. We will understand what the trustee's job is. What I've been seeing in the news is the trustees trying to do the supervisor job. And I challenge you if you want to do that, run for supervisor. Run for the position. Run for the position. Because you are bound by governing laws that govern how you are and what you're supposed to do. Now what I have not seen is this board talk about going to training. And I'm going to say it. You need training. You need to understand your position and the power of your position. Not to create laws against an individual. Not to create rules against an individual. You have to understand what we're going to watch. Get this Learn government. Learn government. Learn how it operates. But I wasn't disrespectful. No, you weren't disrespectful. But it it goes both ways. And the leadership sets the tone for everything. If the leadership sets a tone of disrespect, the citizens are probably going to give it back to you. This is Carol Cook. Okay. 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 Vivian Allen, Edna Boston, Valerie Stubb, Edna Boston's here, I'm sorry, Edna Boston. Good evening, good evening. Great people that are brave enough to stay. I find this is very unfortunate, and it's sad. <coughs> All of those people that got up and walked out and were disrespectful on their way out shows their mentality, their lack of respect. It's disrespect, it's dishonor, it's disorder, it's just plain old different, and it wasn't necessary. If you exit in the room, you don't, I mean, you teach first graders to exit Exactly. And these people are going out cursing, using foul language, saying foul things. It's not okay. I don't care who you're supporting. See, this ain't high school to me. And I'm not on nobody's team. I'm on the township's team. I'm not here to support Tiffany. I'm here to support nobody. Okay? But I'm going to tell you what's right is right and what's wrong is wrong. You're wrong. When we pay board members to come and be prepared, 
to make something. I'm getting tired of hearing we're tabling it. How much does a board member make? Can anyone just give me an, an idea? Because I was surprised you got a salary. So please, how much is your income for being a trustee? It's public knowledge. So, I'm sorry? I have to submit a board request. A board request. A board. Okay, so you're not going to tell me what you need to do, but I looked it up. I Googled it and it said somewhere around $64,000 and up for you to show up at a meeting and say that, well, I, I didn't have time to look at it. We need to table it. We need to move forward. Look, I don't care that we're not in agreement, like I said before, we're not all Democratic, we're not all Republican, but when it comes to this township, we are a community. And it's important that we show up as a united community. So this is not high school. Stop trying to be the cheerleader. I actually seen a board member last week, you know who you are, so I won't just embarrass you. Meet outside with his group of cheerleaders, and that's what I called them. I stood there and listened to them, and they said, no, we're not going to say anything this week, but next week we're going to blow it up. We're going to have this and this. What is that about? About the what is that about? about the it shouldn't be. It shouldn't be. If you haven't, you know, you want to support somebody, fine, do that. We're all entitled to that. But can we please just grow the hell up? Get something done. I'm tired of stuff time. Oh, time isn't important because everybody get up here, go over it, and it doesn't matter. I mean, this man stood up here and went, you know, 10 minutes over, and he's going to get his point for Valerie Stubbs. But I will not do that. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Trustees, you did an awesome job. I'm so proud of you, with the exception of one trustee. It's a shame that I've been here since a quarter to five. And it's a shame that we take our time out to come to these meetings to get information on what's going on in our community. It's a shame that Tiffany asked us to be respectful, to not make any noise, no outbursts, but yet the disrespect when the resident uh, gets up here and make a comment, she's holding her head down dwindling. And that actually depends upon who you are, whether or not you want to hear it. The lady that just left from up here, she clapped, held her head up, and it's a shame. And in 2025, I want all of us that live in Thornton Township to take care of that because it's an embarrassment yes. to us. We're the laughing stock of the world. Yes. Yes. All over yes. the world, we have the worst mayor and the worst supervisor in the world. <coughs> I went to her event last Saturday. The money that was spent on the bleachers alone was a fortune. And unfortunately, it was maybe a hundred people there. You might want to, I commend you for curtailing the spending because that was a waste of my tax dollars. The big bingo. As long as I've been black and going to different bingo events, I've never seen anybody give away wash machines. Big screen, 75 inch TVs. Those are our tax dollars. Stop letting her buy you. Stop letting her give you a box of chicken. If you need some food, look me up. I'll take you to the grocery store and buy you some food. If you teach a man how to fish, he can fish forever. If you keep going and getting them handouts, like we destitute, it's a lot of people that live in Thornton Township and in Dalton that make a great income. I make over six figures, okay? There's people in this room that I know of make over six figures. Stop treating us like we destitute, that we need a handout. 
Cut your own grass. You knew when you bought a house that your grass had to be cut. Stop losing the services. You know, if you can afford it, do it. And stop taking the handouts. Stop letting her treat us like we destitute. Time. You can buy your own kid a book bag. If not, call me up. I buy your kids some school supplies. Okay, um, next is uh, Nicole. Is Nicole? Hi, good evening, um, residents and most trustees. Um, first and foremost, I cannot make this up. Tiffany is up there literally doodling on her in her spiral notebook. It's just a page full of doodling. That's so unbecoming as a mayor, okay? Not to mention, find another word, because you keep saying, ah, oh, that, that was dope. Yeah, we went out here, we did this. That was dope. You're a mayor. Why do you like the word dope so much? I mean, come on now. That's, that's unbecoming. It's unprofessional. It's ghetto as I don't know what. You're not at the source of wars. Um, Come on, I would like to know your position. And I would like to know, I would like an update, a report, a statistic, a measurable outcome on some of these youth programs that you have. You don't do anything but cause disruption, intimidation, confusion. Um, yes. And I, I just don't understand what it is you're getting paid to do. Um, like I said, I saw you guys at the nail shop. Now I'm wondering, was that credit card you used Thornton townships because you did pay with the credit card. I saw that, but I would like for you to just give a statistic on the impact of your role, of your position, and what you're supposedly doing. Keith Price, um, the way you talk to trustees, oh, he's not here, but the way he talks to trustees should be reprimanded. I mean, you sit there, you let it happen, Tiffany. You let him sit from a seat. He's not even at the podium when he's degrading the trustees. You allow it to happen. You allow him to curse. Then you try to school us like we're children on how to speak and how to conduct ourselves at a meeting that you weren't even on time to. You know, you allowed the stalemate to happen. You know, you wanted it your way, but it did not happen because you saw that they were going to have the meeting with or without you. So you had to pack up everybody and bring them down here where you should have been at the start of the meeting, trying to lock us out. We saw people that were behind us in line that were in that room. It was calculated, it was intentional, and you, you should be reprimanded for that. Who can write up a supervisor? Also, um, you know, you're always talking about what the new media doesn't report, and how they don't tell, how you pay for this, you pay for that, you, you pay for funerals, you give food, you pay rent. Why can't you help those vendors that you sit on people like Gonzalez, you bully them, you know, by trying to make them make them pay. Why can't you have them utilize these these resources that you say never gets talked about? You have plenty of resources, right? We're in the black. Send them to them. They're not going to get paid if, if if they didn't go through the proper process. The sooner you learn that, the better off they'll be. They won't keep doing work knowing that they're not going to get paid. That's on them. That's on them. No, it's not on the trustees. It's on them. It's on them. Okay. Well, stop working. Stop working. Stop working. Okay, well, here, let me like my original statement. Go to the school pantry. Go to the township. Go to the school pantry. Go to the school pantry. Go to the school pantry. Go to the I'm just saying. All right, the time up. Okay, but all so, right. All right, Emmanuel, right, come on. Emmanuel, come on. Go ahead, get, get your loan. Make this $40 for you. What's the on the list? Go ahead. Go ahead. All I'm saying is this. I want you all to understand what's actually happening here. Because I feel like a lot of people don't understand what's actually happening here. So right now, you all have a lot of people who've done a lot of work for this township. No. Let me show you how. Right now, I am an employee of the township. Before that, as media. Yes, ma'am. Okay, as me. So everyone understands. Trustees, I want the trustees to understand. As media, before media, I, I, I have my own business that we've been running successfully. The, the Thorin Township was supposed to be just a client. I was supposed to be just a contractor. So the money that I charge the township, I understand the township is very... Um, 
frugal when it comes to paying bills. So I charge way below market value for the services that I provided to the residents, not the trustees, not anything to the residents. I'm literally showing you guys what your township offers you. This is not about a supervisor. This is not about other, uh, 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 other members of the administration. Right, time is short. Here we go. For the township. The trustees decided not to pay it. But they are the reason. So you're media for the town. Correct. Email you. Get it out. Yes. Back so so I, I want you to understand if I work for the township and I'm showing you guys like what GA offers you. I'm showing you what Youth and Family Services is offering you. You are getting this not for free. You are already paid for it. You are already paid for these services. And instead of you all receiving those services, you're telling the trustees, don't give it to you. That's dumb. That, that's literally what's happening. You all already paid for it. But the trustees are fooling you because they're telling you, oh, you all don't want it. We spend all this money. You all are actually in a surplus. You all are already audited and they received an award for financial transparency. So what I'm saying is you all are literally, you are shooting yourselves in the foot. I, I wish that my mom lived in Bart Township. My mom was in a car accident and my mom and my father passed away in that accident. My mom is very badly injured and she's handicapped, she's in a wheelchair. My mom needs groceries delivered to her, but we have to pay for those groceries. They're offering you all getting those groceries delivered to your house that you already paid for. You already received, not necessarily, but you already received these things, but you all are telling the trustees, trustees don't want it. I don't want it. But there's, you all have to understand this township is full of thousands of people. There's people there who do want it. Right. That need it. That's not fair to them. You all are shooting them. Give them a chance. Don't just take the chance away from them. Trustees, don't just take the chance away from them. You have other people besides who was in this room that you all are literally killing. I met a man who was cutting his own grass at 89. Cutting his own grass at 89. He was on the list in order to get his grass cut. But instead of them being able to pay the people to cut the grass of this man, he's out there. He's literally risking his life to cut his own grass because the township board of trustees decided not to pay the people to cut his grass that he paid for. So I'm saying that again, all I'm saying is you already paid for these services. Just get them. Why, why tell them I don't want the services, but you pay for it anyways? Where you live? I'm going to pay for it. You know that. I was on the list, but I didn't get up because I, the negativity was a little bit too much for me. I wanted to go to seniors that we were talking about. And, and I've been attending these meetings for years. We have been attending these meetings for years. When Supervisor Zuccarelli was in the position, and so many people who are here now and have now walked out, I wanted them to hear me. Because we would come to meetings and there would be like 10 people there. And whatever he wanted done was done. And you talk about double dipping, he had three positions. And I don't understand. I don't understand why. I mean, I, I just don't understand. And I am one of those seniors that some of you would like to radicalize. I mean, you want to say, we don't know anything. But I think I know a lot more than most of the people in here. Because you haven't been attending those meetings years ago. 
I have attended, we have attended those meetings on a regular basis. Uh -huh. And all of the things that you are talking about, he had a board where everybody voted yay. You, if you were around when Darlene Washington was here on the board, every time there was an activity, board members came, not just Zuccarello. And we always had to wait an hour or two every time we had a meeting. Every time we had a meeting. So that's how I know most of you haven't been to any previous meeting. Because if you had, you would have known that. I am appalled at the atmosphere. I'm sorry. I am appalled. We talk so much, but we don't listen. Now, I don't know the supervisor the way some of you know her. I don't know what she has done wrong, but I know that she has some terrific employees. And to the board members, they should all be paid. Because things that I have gone to, I mean, the employees are just fantastic. I have been to Big Ben Go, but I didn't need a TV. <laughs> so those people who did need it, got it. I didn't need it. It was fun. The music that she had playing was fun. The food that she prepared, the, the food that she had prepared was better, better. And the Mother's Day program was fantastic. And what I liked is she, she had young people who had an etiquette class. And they were trained on how to serve. I have some fantastic pictures of those young people. You could order your meal. It wasn't buffet style. You didn't have to get in line. And the mothers there were thrilled. So I know the good side. I know the good side. I don't know that negative side. I'm sorry, I do not. I, I, there's some ugliness in here. May the good Lord bless and keep all of them. That's right. That's right. Because there's just too much, and I'm sorry that the other people walked out, because I don't know why they walked out. But I know one thing, this board needs to work together there's some ugliness here i don't i don't want any ugliness i want love yes, yes. i don't know <laughs> well, i want to i i've been struggling to uh keep in the front of my mind what i've been taught all my life and that is love your neighbor as yourself and do unto others as we would have others do unto us. And there's very little of that that I've seen here tonight. So I've had to struggle to keep myself under control because I was upset with some things, I learned some things, and it sounds like uh, Tiffany Henyard is the scapegoat for a lot of things. And I want to ask her not to be broken by this. I, I, I especially am concerned about the employees because the senior center, on, and, and I'm concerned because I invited four of my neighbors to come to this meeting. And uh, one came, but he couldn't stand a long time, so he ended up having to leave. But I try, I, I'm a person who is a community person. So therefore, I want all of you to come to everything, not just the negative thing, everything, and see what's going on. I mean, really, because if something, something's wrong here, and I'm not saying that anyone is perfect, but something is wrong here. Something is rotten in Denmark. Hitler did good stuff for his people too. Okay, thank you so much for your comments. We appreciate you.
I know you're struggling to get out there, so thank you so much. Um, thank you guys for coming out. Um, again, if you want to hear anything about going township, tomorrow we will be in the same location. Um, I would like to see a motion to adjourn. <laughs> Is that the motion? Is that the motion? Thank you, Trustee Jones? Trustee Gonzalez? Trustee Gray Everett? Yes. Trustee Carlisle? Yes. Supervisor Motion passed. 855.